Alrighty, welcome lads and ladies to the director's commentary of Fright by Night, written, directed, and produced by me, Dave Flanders. So, love this opening shot. It is dynamically different from what I started with. Um, I had an actual shot of the real house, and it uh, just wasn't quite fitting the right look. So we went and found the right uh, beginning image to uh, good a good establishing point of view. So we get into these two characters. Um, there's a whole backstory. I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but the original treatment and envision was uh, to have a uber jock with all kinds of just backstory and nonsense about how he messes with his fraternity brothers and his girlfriend and everyone just kind of really doesn't like him to a little bit more reasonable uh, generic character called Chad. So um, through this production process, uh, I got to do some fun creative stuff and nods to some of my favorite horror films. That uh, DVD box is one of my uh, fun little projects where I designed that new cover and uh, wrapped a whole warning. Um, I may throw it up on screen here real quick if you want to read the actual details. And um, inside is actually the DVD of the uh, royalty-free available uh, Night of the Living Dead. So I tried to find sound effects that uh, played to that a little bit in the background here. And we get to see our characters take a seat. Start watching the film and uh, get ready to move on to some uh, funner things. Fun little step that's uh, about to uh, happen in the background, if you can hear it. My lovely, at the point of this production... Did you catch it? In the background there, a couple times, uh, I decided to keep it because it sounds actually kind of creepy and enjoyable. Is my, uh, at that point, six-month-old child in the background where my lovely wife is trying her best to console his first set of teeth starting to poke through his gums um that was a an adventure <laughs> at two in the morning is where that uh point of production would have been but we continue on we start to see the beginning fruits of everything that's starting to happen in the background the idea and premise being a uh, few different nods to some of, again, my uh, favorite horror films, Scream, and uh, a few others like it. Um, those effects don't have to go into play after finishing the film, right at this point, but as soon as he even began the lovely process, <laughs> what the? What was the... we start to get more and more deeper into the character. We start seeing these POV shots from his perspective, and go deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole of just what most likely was Brett's night. There's a, also a fun detail I, as we got from the beginning of the film that he watched to the lovely point at this. We've already gone into the next night um, and day, that is. Um, so therefore, that's why there's a date change in the right corner there. And uh, we see Brett get through his night. Some of this footage here and some of the end footage and uh, one little short pickup was one of the biggest challenges um, from a original produced set of shots back in October of uh, 2018. So the dates are actually pretty accurate to what's on the screen. To what you're hearing and seeing now, um, are some pickup shots with the same character. Luckily his hair didn't change too much. He still had the costume and uh, we were able to do these uh, morning pickup shots with uh, the graciousness of my family and uh, location and actors being able to do a return. Through all that we were able to get some great footage and uh, bring it to a nice little end. Um, there's lots of great stuff in this film. Um, see if you can number or uh, list off the films that you think I might be giving a nod or appreciation to. And um, I just appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch it and enjoy. So this is Fright by Night. 
the director's commentary brought to you by Dave Flanders. Thanks.